two incidents, incidents <laughs> where I said something that I regret and it hurt someone come to mind. Yet another celebrity has made a regrettable error, causing me to go deep inside my memories and pull out some lessons that I can learn from their mistakes. You may have heard of Princess Kate, Duchess Kate, the, the royal Kate Middleton being uh, mysteriously missing, and everyone was abuzz about it. And I didn't really follow this story very closely, but it was, it was everywhere. A lot of people were making content about it, probably because it was popular and they could get attention from it. I like attention too, so I can't really fault them for that. But among the attention seekers was Blake Lively, who posted on Instagram for her company Betty Buzz, which I believe is a company that makes non-alcoholic beverages, which you can use to create cocktails or mocktails. Brilliant. I like Blake Lively. I've, I've been a fan and I do kind of appreciate the way that she handled this situation. She posted this on Instagram. Blake Lively posted for Betty Buzz and Betty Boo's. Evidently, there's alcoholic versions as well. Do your research, Edward. She posted this picture, which was poorly photoshopped on purpose as a little joke and to get some attention for her brand. There was a poorly photoshopped picture of Kate Middleton and her family her children, and um, everyone was creating these theories as to what was really happening. This was PR, and and uh, I mean, I didn't notice the bad Photoshop, but I did watch a video because I was curious about the little areas that were Photoshop. But regardless, Blake Lively used this moment in pop culture to promote her product, to make a cheeky little ad, Instagram post slash ad for her company, uh, sort of making fun of this. That's marketing. Take a topic that people are talking about and post about it while simultaneously promoting your brand. I mean, it's, it's marketing 101, right? But after Kate Middleton came out and told us all that she actually has cancer and she's recovering from her initial surgery so that she can begin chemotherapy. Um, yeah, Blake Lively felt pretty bad about it. And then she posted this. I'm sure no one cares today, but I feel like I have to acknowledge this. I made a silly post around the Photoshop fails frenzy. And oh man, that post has me mortified today. I'm sorry. Sending love and well wishes to all, always. I think Blake Lively probably felt pretty bad, not only because of the cancer diagnosis, but also because Kate Middleton has three children and doesn't Blake Lively also have three children, young children. And uh, in the video that Kate Middleton released, she did emphasize that she was trying to reassure her children that she was going to be okay and um, asked for some privacy and uh, respect of her um, time right now. So that was like, oh, for Blake Lively. I mean, it's not, I'm not here to condemn Blake Lively for her actions, but like always, I'm here to show us, myself, and anyone who wants to partake <laughs> and some self-awareness that we can learn from this. Two incidents, incidents <laughs> where I said something that I regret and it hurt someone come to mind. And you know what they say, as after you die, you're up in the spirit realm, you will review your life and you will get to feel all the feelings that you made other people feel through your actions. So I'm in for some uncomfortable feelings. First, I remember being young with my sister, I don't know, maybe a teenager. We were walking through a store and in front of me was a person with this fringed leather jacket and um, they were far enough away in front, so I 
talked to I told my sister, hey, look at this stupid jacket or something. That's so that's the ugliest jacket I've ever seen or something very rude like that. And then I turned around and there was another person with the exact same jacket behind me. And I'm assuming they were a couple, husband and wife. And immediately I felt daggers in my, coming from me, not coming from them. I felt so bad for, for talking crap about them. My thought was, after that, they probably put these jackets on. They thought they were so cool. They loved them. They, they felt really good about themselves. And then here's this young fool making fun. And probably they never felt good about these jackets again, I'm guessing. Right? They probably no longer had that joy. I took away their joy for loving something that I deemed as ugly or stupid. So I still remember that and it still feels bad when I think about it. And then another one where I said something. So I was being broken up with by a boyfriend that I kind of didn't really care that much about, but he was, he was useful for getting rid of my old roommate and he was going to move in. So they will be like, yeah, somebody to pay half the rent. He likes me. Uh, he's all right. You know, he's, he's not exactly my first choice, but so yeah, that's the kind of person I used to be <laughs> basically using him. So then I treated him like crap the whole time. I was extremely jealous, even though I didn't really care that much about him. I was very jealous and he eventually wanted to break up with me and he said you know we're just not happy i think we should break up and he was very sincere about it and i looked him in the eye and trying to mask my fear and embarrassment and regret of the way i had acted in the situation i said to him i don't care i never loved you anyway and the look on his face I could just see that it really was daggers for him. I really, I really hurt his feelings. And uh, I never really felt good about that. In the moment, I guess I felt good because I was trying to mask my own fear of, oh no, what's going to happen to me now? Um, I'm going to be alone. I had this person that really, really loved me or cared or thought they loved me, cared about me a lot and uh, wanted to be with me and I pushed them away. Now look what I've done. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, hide all that. I didn't want to express that or show that. So um, yeah, these are things I remember. And I realized that we all say or do things for whatever reason that we later regret. Maybe we're trying to get attention or maybe we are, um, I've done that, said things for attention. Uh, maybe we are trying to hide our true feelings. Maybe we are trying to be funny or make people laugh or think that we're, you know, cool. Some people do this for a living. I mean, there are comics that do stand-up comedy and their whole act is making fun of people. There are channels on YouTube where it's all about hating on certain people so that your audience watches you and in return, you get sponsorship deals and revenue from views. So, um, yeah, we all do it. I mean, I don't know if you do it. I've done it. I've done it all. And I can change and I can learn and grow. And does this mean I'll never do it again? No, probably not. But I'm just more conscious, you know, just a little bit closer to the person that I can be while still in this 3D reality, a little closer to my soul, my higher self. And, you know, every little step counts. So um, just remember to be kind. I know that sounds very Ellen DeGeneres. We all know how that ended. But think before you speak.
<laughs> think before you speak. Be willing to accept the consequences of that and put out some good and some love rather than some hate or mocking. It's always going to end up badly when you when you hate or mock. That's it for today. I'm going to go watch The Three-Body Problem on Netflix. I've been looking forward to this for so long. So, uh, yeah, have a, have a great day. Do something fun. And uh, try, try, try not to be mean. Goal for the day. Have a great day. Bye.